Good morning, everyone. This is about six o'clock in the morning, East Coast time. Uh, I will have to say, you know, up until the past couple of days, uh, periodically I would think in my head, sitting on a thousand and sixty-five stones, you know, I was asking myself, am I not regretting summoning on, you know, some of the uh, current or, you know, existing banners like the uh, Tech Kefla and the um, legendary banner with the new hidden Super Saiyan God Goku, but I woke up this morning and uh, saw the uh, notification on the upcoming unit and I was like, yup, that is exactly why I've been passing the past, you know, couple of, of banners just to, you know, rack up some stones and just, you know, kind of think about, you know, more more or less like picking and choosing the, the, the banners lately. So, yeah, this is reaffirmation that uh, I made the right decision and it's better to, you know, sometimes just wait for the right unit to come along. And I am a massive fan of this version of Trunks. Like, the first impression you get out of this character, I mean, it was mind-blowing how much of a uh, impact, you know, that scene had, you know, where... Uh, Mecha Frieza and King Cold are about to wreck havoc on on the planet Earth, and this guy just shows up and just completely wrecks shit. You know what I'm saying? So um, it's certainly a very very uh, interesting character from my perspective, and to you know have that incorporated um, into a, a unit as a game. Obviously, the physical LR trunks exist. Um, that's pretty much reflecting you know that particular scene. But I think this would be a really really good complement in terms of a, a Dokkan Fest unit. Now. Again, this will be obviously a, a future Saga category lead, or you know, they'll he'll he'll have that skill set most likely. But um, yeah, I'm extremely excited about it. I did want to talk about this first um, to start out the video, but yeah, I am extremely excited about it. I am definitely going to summon. Uh, this is one of those things that I've been waiting to summon on. So yeah, I'm definitely going to throw stones at it. Now, in terms of, like some of the other information, um, you know, easy A's for the uh, free to play 17 and 18, the future editions of the uh, the Android units. Um, it looks like it is available as of now, and uh, you know, we have the skill sets built in around it. Um, I'm not really going to cover that. I mean, I could, but um, I think at this point in time, you guys probably have the information you need uh, related to the unit skill set. So I'm just going to bypass that this time, but. Uh, just a little reminder that uh, the legendary EZA, I guess, campaign um, will be going live on November 2nd for the uh, free-to-play uh, Prime Battle Trunks unit. So, you know, up until that point, um, you'll be able to, you know, collect your rewards if you have it completed beforehand. But once, uh, I think, the 11 second date comes, that's when you'll start getting some um, other incentives in terms of, like, how to go through, you know, the battles and whatnot. So... Yeah, it'll be very, very interesting to see. Um, in terms of, like, uh, the units required, obviously, I think um, you're going to have to, like, basically, um, yeah, you're going to have to, like, don't kind of awaken these units or, you know, awaken them into what they need to be. Um, let's just see. I mean, all the events should be available now, too. So, you know, if you're lacking some of these characters, um, you know, you are going to have to go through the process. It looks like in addition to having them available, uh, they also do have to be rainbowed as well. So, in order to tackle the EZA for Prime Battle Trunks, um, you are going to have to uh, not only have these guys at 100% potential, but fully have them EZA. Um, you know, uh, uh, disregarding the uh, the LR cell. But outside of those, you know, it's a requirement to not only have them rainbow, but also, you know, fully uh, EZA. So that's the requirements there. Uh, I don't think there's necessarily anything in, in addition in terms of like anything uh, particularly important, but you know we do have like the uh, uh, Halloween campaign going on right now with you know the hot gen as the uh, the marquee uh, image for that. Um, I'm not really going to cover too much details. You know we have a couple of events, you know prior Halloween events that have taken place and whatnot, but uh, there are missions related to that. Let's just go over to the uh, events. So all these guys related to the future saga, you know and. and some of this is like cell related, but yeah, I mean, these are going to be available and obviously it's, it's, uh, in line with, you know, pretty much, uh, kind of the, the, the new unit coming up. So yeah, we have a combination of, uh, Halloween stuff with the new Dokkan Fest unit. Me personally, I'm really, really excited about it. I need to send the screenshot over to social because I don't think she's aware of this just yet. So, uh. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll talk to her, see if she wants to do a collab summon or something like that, because I know how much she loves this character. So, 
Um, I think the last thing to note is like I really do hope they uh, roll out the EZA for the physical type LR trunks. Um, you know, at some point, you know, after this unit releases. I mean, from a timing standpoint, you know, it just makes perfect sense. But number two, that guy could certainly benefit from an EZA. Um, just a little bit, you know, legwork addition on, you know, defense. Um, a little slight improvement on attack and maybe build around a couple of skill sets in the uh, secondary passive. And I think pretty much that unit's good to go. But um, yeah, I think that's pretty much everything from my end. I mean, this is, for me, it's exciting. I don't know about you guys, but I know we have, you know, Dragon Ball Heroes coming up. We've got uh, likely another Dokkan Fest, double rates coming up, um, you know, the year-end uh, Dokkan Fest, dual Dokkan Fest is coming up, and then New Year's Step Up is most likely coming up, and then next thing you know is 7th anniversary for JP, so there's going to be a lot of activity. Um, you know, I, you know, if, if, if you're not necessarily a well, you know, this is pretty obvious, but, uh, you know, I should reiterate, you should definitely pick and choose which banners you want to go on, because there are a lot of stuff coming up. All right, with that being said, hopefully uh, you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys later. All right, peace out.